schools, we have a very inclusive environment, inclusive setting. And so including children in a way that they're successful is uh, very important to teachers, as well as kind of fits the philosophy that are embedded in schools today. While universal strategies used at Ann Fitzgerald help to provide a foundation for positive behavior school-wide, some students who exhibit chronic and pervasive behavior fall within Tier 1 of the Pyramid of Intervention and require intensive individualized supports. Supporting these children requires a careful development plan. At Ann Fitzgerald School, an emotional behavior specialist works alongside teachers to develop a comprehensive strategy to address complex behavioral challenges. The cool thing about behavior and what keeps me in this role is that behavior can always be learned, behavior can always be unlearned, and behavior can always be modified or changed. To help students with behavioral challenges, staff at Ann Fitzgerald School work to develop an understanding of the origin of the behavior. To accomplish this, the Emotional Behavior Specialist or Learning Coach visits the classroom and, as a learning team, gather as much information as possible. The first thing that happens is I'll get called in for an observation for any social, emotional, or behavioral concern. And usually we'll start with what the teacher knows. So does the teacher have any information about uh, what is contributing to this child as a person. So do they have any information about their speech and language skills? Do they have any information about any of their motor planning abilities? Is there a previous diagnosis on file? Kind of help me understand this child as a whole. The student's family is also included in this process. The factors that are considered include, are there learning difficulties? How is the student's sleep pattern? How is the student's nutrition? Has the child had any significant changes in the home or family life? And is the student connected to any other resources, which could include a school-based multidisciplinary team, RCSD, community mental health or other specialized services? So to begin to analyze the behavior, once you have the background information, describe the behavior that you're going to be looking at, and then you would look for what happens before the behavior and what happens after the behavior. If your plan is, is to have a plan of action to help them to adapt to classroom life better, and that plan um, starts with observing. You have to, to observe the child, okay, what's going on and what's causing their, their negative behavior. Are they trying to escape something, or avoid something, or get attention? All behaviors have a function, and the function of any behavior depends on the individual child. Typically, challenging behavior either serves the student by helping them obtain something, or helping them to avoid something and don't take it personally. It's not about you, it's about the child. So take your own emotions out. Why is the kid doing this? Observe, find out the background, and then come up with your strategy. 